Hi guys, Rich Page, our Gemathan Timber Frame Company, the main timber framer. Today I wanted to take a couple minutes and show you how we mark out a brace for rough cutting. And in the rough cutting process, we use a radial arm saw. If you go on YouTube, take a look at our station, you'll see the operation of rough cutting with a radial arm saw. But in this video, I want to show you how we mark them. A couple tools that we're going to be using today, uh, 48 inch rule. 24 18 framing square, 12 inch speed square, and a couple pencils. Uh, the brace that we're going to be working on today is a 5 by 5 It has a lateral length of 24 inches and a diagonal span of 33.94, rounded up to uh, 34 inches. Um, I'm going to move the camera. I'm going to show you. I've got a, a brace all marked out, but I'm going to go through the process with you and tell you how we do it as we go. So let me move the camera and then you can see how we mark out the brace. So this is the marked out brace. You can see some of the marks on it. So typically when we start making a brace, um, we want to know what the overall length of the brace is. So if you're going to do a 24 inch lateral brace, uh, you're going to need about 38 and uh, 7 eighths inches uh, minimum material for the brace and the tenon. Typically, uh, the starting point for us is we're going, to, we're going to cut these at about 48 inches, your 5 by 5s And what I'm going to do, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to find about the center point of the brace. On the back side, uh, 24 inches, I'm going to put a little line. Knowing that the brace is going to be 34 inches, now I'm going to move the, seven, the 17 inch mark to the center of the brace, and that locates my end cut at, for 34 inches down here. I'm going to make a little line like this down here. Okay. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to grab my framing square, I'm going to take that line, and I like to have a line on the back side of the brace. So now I put a line on the back side of the brace. I'm going to grab the speed square, and we're going to put it on here. I use that line on the back side of the brace to help line up the speed square, so that way I'm going to get the right length exactly at 34 inches. I'm going to scribe a line right here, and now I've got my diagonal. This is starting to identify the tenon. I'm going to take my speed square, turn it 180 degrees, come back to the line I drew to make sure that I'm lining it up properly, and I'm going to scribe the line on this side over here. So now I've got two lines on my brace. I'm going to grab my square, and knowing that the tendon is going to be about 7 and an eighth, I'm going to put 7 and an eighth on this side, and 7 and an eighth on this side. You're going to find that centers it up nicely between the two diagonal lines you made. Identify three and a half inches, that's the length of my tenon, and then I'm going to put a mark. I'm going to grab the speed square, and I'm going to come to that mark that I put on the diagonal at three and a half inches, and I'm going to scribe a line. Now, my, now I'm done on one end. I'm going to put an X on the areas to remove, and I'm going to put a T where the tenon is to make sure that I don't do a crazy thing and cut the tenon off. One of the things to remember when you've marked this is where your saw line, where your saw kerf is going to be. So on this, I put a little arrow right here that I'm going to have the saw blade to the outside of this line. If I put it to the inside, it's going to come up, it's going to cut my overall length of 34 inches short. So you're going to put your saw line to the outside, just leave a residue of this line when you cut. And it will be the same thing on this line. The saw line will be to the outside of this line, just leaving a residue to cut. Okay, so one end is done. I'm going to come back here with my, my 48 inch rule. I'm going to line it up exactly on my mark down here at the end. I'm going to come up here at 34 inches and I'm going to make a small line. Small line's complete, 34 inches. I like to make that line on the back to give me reference. Strike that line at 34 inches. Grab my handy dandy speed square, line that up on the reference line, strike the line 45 degrees, flip this over 180 degrees, line up the, uh, the tongue back here on the line, scribe that line. So now you'll see this is already marked off, I've got a tenon 
and I've got the two X's. But just going over the procedure, grab your grab your square at about seven and an eighth. About seven and eight. Going to, you're going to find out that centers it pretty well. Line it up. Mark your mark at three and a half inches. That's going to be the length of your tenon. Put a little mark. Grab your speed square to the mark. Scribe your line. You're done. So now X, X, X. That's the material to be removed. Save your tenon. And you'll see a little arrow here. Cut to the outside of the line. A little arrow here. Cut to the outside of this line. And when you come across on the outside, that preserves the overall 34 inch length. The other thing that you'll see is I've marked this on one side. And what I'll do is I'll take the radial arm saw. I'll do all the cuts at 45 on one side. Then I'll move the cuts and I'll do 45 on the other. This back side of the brace is always on the fence. What we don't want to be doing is cutting half of the brace on this back side and then flipping your brace over and cutting the other half on this side. So if your wood is perfectly straight, that's fine. Our wood is pretty good. But at the same time, if we can use the same backstop and rely on the angle of our radial arm saw, which is pretty precise, we're going to get these and they're going to be exactly 45 degrees is what we expect. Like and subscribe, if you will. Take a look also. Like I said, there's a video uh, of the radial arm saw operation roughing out the braces. Thanks for watching.